Uh, sorry, it's a little bit, a little bit slow getting back, you guys. Um, sorry about that. I was just talking to B. Erickson again. He was heading out. So, all right, let's flip the board. Okay, let's play C5 here. Okay, let's play the Alapin, or Knight F6, sorry. Oh, this is an original novelty, so I will just take... Let's go E6. Contacts, yeah, yeah, no, he, I saw B. Erickson, he was just leaving, and so I just, I just spoke to him for a second. Um, and I saw him bike, he, he apparently, he bicycles, he, he rides his bike here, which is pretty, <laughs> pretty funny. Uh, let's go Queen C7, thank you soft maybe for the two months, thank you so much. Let's go Knight C6. Thank you to uh, thank you to Tailing a Shark for the uh, ten months. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate. It. Thank you to Mush Mush Forty Six for the two gifted. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate. It. Do I think classical chess is a future? I mean, it's still going strong for now, but I think classical chess is dying at, at the upper levels of the game. Yeah, I think for sure classical chess is dying. Yeah, he rides his bike uh, when he when he comes to the facility. I'd already heard this before, but I saw I saw him biking. It's an EU thing, yeah, that's true. Yeah, in EU they're more like they're they're more health conscious. Like, yeah. Let's take. Let's just take. No, it's not a Danish thing. I mean it's just an EU thing. People in the EU just they, they bike they bike a lot. Because they, they stay healthy. Plain and simple, you guys. Plain and simple. <laughs> they stay healthy. Not like us. We're all about the fried chicken. Um, you know, like all, all that all that bad stuff. Thank you, Noisy Miner, for the 11. First game I played against Fabiano. I feel like I played him at the Marsh. I actually think the first time I played Fabiano was in the New York Masters tournament. It's a game that I think was recorded, actually. It was, uh, I was black. It was an O, it was a something with E4, C5, Knight, D6, D4 takes. He played Queen D4, A6, and he played Bishop E3, um, which I've actually played sometimes. Um, I think that was the first time we ever played, and that actually was a game that was recorded, so you should be able to find that in databases. Oh right, we're at seventy, so we gotta update. Let's um, again, we're just gonna win ten more. We just we we gotta assume we're gonna win ten more. Classic chess, I mean slow chess. I think at the upper levels, it's dying. I think at the at like the more like international master or master level, it's it's doing completely fine. But I think in terms of the upper levels, because of the amount of opening theory and things that have been solved, it's it's slowly dying. It is. I, I think it is definitely dying. What are my thoughts on the Queen's Gambit series? I mean, I should do. We should have. Some, there should be some kind of drinking game around the number of times I'm asked about the series on show. Like one shot of beer for every time someone asks me about it. Because I, I feel like the number of times I've been asked over the last like three days, not even the last three days, last week. It's like literally insane. If someone would die. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> I've watched four episodes, you guys. I mean, I have, but yeah. Premise of flipped out is that I'm looking at the board upside down. That's the promise. Am I digging the cure? I've listened to cure on and off um, from time to time. Let's flip the board. Um, let's go here and here. Will this affect my driving? No, I don't think so. Next speedrun is you take a shot for every time you castle in a game. I mean, the problem is I don't know. I don't know how high I could get with that. I did the bond cloud, which I didn't. I actually bond cloud. You never castle, so no. I could just play the bond cloud. I got to three thousand. So actually, that just invalidates it altogether. Thank you for the three months, man. Yeah. I didn't castle at all. Yeah. Now let's go here. Do I have a favorite genre of what? Of music? Or what, what do you mean? Let's go E4. Let's open up the center of the board here. I'm doing very well. Let's 
Maybe let's go queen c2, hit the pawn on f5. Maybe bishop h7 is a threat here too. Maybe rook e1. Nice camera, my guy. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a Sony a7 III. Just, it's amazing. It makes a difference. It really does. And as I said before, it's an expensive camera. Um, but if, if you're going to be a professional streamer, you're going to... What was... Oh, he had knight h3 and he wins. He put the knight on the wrong square. Um, let's go here. Uh, but as I was saying, if, if you know, expensive camera, but if, if you're a professional streamer, you got to bring the best quality to the stream. Um, so you just got to do that. Thank you. It's me, Hako, for the tier one for the three month sub. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Let's go here. <laughs> Thank you, Tarj Ho, for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Let's go here and. and He's in bad shape. This is actually, I'm not gonna lie. Whenever I look close at the bishops, this like this this like this little ugly like unpolished spot on the bishop is starting to actually bother me a little bit. It really is. It's like it's starting to bug me that the bishop is not clean. It really is starting to bother me. Let's take and take the rook. Let's just checkmate. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go. Or I gotta flip the board. Okay, let's take. It's on the king? Oh, actually, you're right. The king, yeah, there's a, there's a little chip. There's like a chip on the king, isn't there? You're right. That's true. Yeah, the king is chipped. The king is chipped. That's so unfortunate. I didn't even notice the king was chipped. That's very sad. It's a shadow? No, it's legit. The knight is not chipped. The knight is good. Oh, no, the knight has something on the very edge, too. What? Wait, now I'm feeling... I feel like I've been... I feel, I feel like something's wrong. I feel like I'm, I feel disillusioned. You're right. The knight has a little problem too, doesn't it? And the knight has a little smidge on the very edge of the right hand side. The knight is beautiful, though. I love the knight on the set. I really do. It's like it's the perfect knight. Just take the pawn. OCD kicking in, yeah. Do I still train uh, the Warlord XQC? I haven't done a I haven't done anything with him in quite a while. Um, but if there's a Pog Champs three, or if he ever wants to do something chess or like Among Us or whatever, I'm always interested. Let's go here. Uh, let's do this. Let's be mean. No, no, but I mean, if there is a Pog Champs three and he ever is interested, I mean, I feel like he's always going to get priority if he's interested, but. I, I, I don't I, I don't mind. Are, I'm, I'm, are my friends with Ludwig? I really want to do an IRL collab with Ludwig at some point. I mean, I know he's he's like pretty close by, but somehow it's never happened, which is a little bit disappointing because I would love to do something with Ludwig. Let's go here. Oh wait, no, I misplayed this. Wait, what's going on? I think this is good enough, okay. <clears throat> Let's keep going. <coughs> pretty, pretty clean. Uh, I'll slip the board, of course. That was mean? Yeah. Okay, let's play here. Let's go e6, maybe d5. That was fantastic. Yeah. Do I have other hobbies? I love playing tennis growing up. I love I love reading. I haven't read much in the last, like, nine months, but I love reading. Um we see you on classical terms. I mean, I, I don't intend to stop playing, but the problem is I don't see any over-the-board chess in the, in the next year. And if there's no over-the-board chess, it will have already been about two years since I played classical chess. So, I mean, it's hard to really see it coming back, but it could. I love hiking, of course. That's my favorite activity. Um, hiking is great. I love hiking. But, I mean, it will, it will be two years since I played classical chess if nothing happens in 2021, which is just, it's insane, but that's the reality. 
I haven't given up classical chess. I just, it's hard to see myself playing classical chess seriously if I haven't played in two years. Let's go here. Classical chess is never online because uh, it's games go too long. It's too hard to prevent um, certain things happening with computers. Did I get a new office? Yes, this is my new office, you guys, at the TSM facility. Let's take. Just kidding. But it's a, it's a studio for streaming primarily. Um, but yeah. It's not that it would take me a long time to get good at chess again. It's just it's hard to see myself playing if I haven't played in two years. Corporate Hikari. Yes, I'm corporate. Longest break of, break of classical chess I had before this was probably, this is a beautiful move. He can't take, so he loses the rook. If he takes, I just take. Um, it was probably when I went to college and I had about six months off. Uh, when I went to college, I didn't play, so it would have been August 2006 till about December. Till about December, pretty much, that I didn't play. So five months, I guess. Five, not six, but that, that was the longest, longest amount of time. Let's take and go check. Why do Ali Reza and, and Fedosev play in the first round? Because the speech has championship has no weak players. I mean, it's just got it's a it's a very stacked field. It's very strong this year. Um, so so that's the reason. It's just it's just a stacked field. No one has a walk in the park. Even I don't have a walk in the park. Um, even as the number one seed playing number sixteen, it's not. Um, will my rating get removed due to a long time since last game? I know Fide made some exception. Actually, maybe I should pull that article somewhere. But Fide made some exceptions in regards to that. Um, like I think with FIDE normally after like one year your ratings going active but they, they they enacted something today I think that said they're extending that by another year so it'll be two years and they won't make players ratings inactive thank you Jester Jake for the two months thank you to Big Bad Boris for the tier one thank you so much let's go check who is the highest channel points on your channel probably Chess Bay It's good. I mean, I haven't played yet, but it's good otherwise. Let's take. Who's that? Right. Yeah. Chess Bay 94. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's probably got like 2 million channel points if I had to guess. Let's play Rook A4. Let's go checkmate. Oh, right. I got to flip the board. It's like something looked wrong. Let's go here. Let's go here. Is flipping the board any harder? It's not harder at these levels. Once I start playing like 24, 25 hundreds, it will actually become an issue. Right now, it's not a big deal though. Let's take, go here. Let's take, let's go check. Let's go knight f6. Let's flip the board. Let's go here. Yeah, the speedrun is just the board is flipped. So right now it's pretty it's pretty random. But it's once I start playing like 23, 24 hundreds, it's not going to be as trivial. Because they're not going to blunder like this. Okay, I can take the juicer, but I'm just gonna play for quick attacks instead. Thank you to E Gibson Six for the chess.com diamond membership. Thank you so much. Let's just go all in F4 F5. It's attacked. F5, F6, E6. 
New here, what's a juicer? A juicer is whatever you want it to be. How do I style my hair? I don't style my hair, you guys. I, t I take a shower and I use uh, Paul Mitchell shampoo. I don't do anything else, sorry. Oh, that's a free queen I'll take. Let's see, how many wins do we have? Uh, let's go if, uh, let's flip the board, of course. Let's go here. Got 88, so we've got 75, so we're halfway to 80. Thank you for the five months, man. Thank you to Easy Kalapa. Thank you to Tynan for the prime. Thank you to Tower, Tower J-Ho again for the prime. Let's take and go D5. Do I like politics? I'm not crazy about it, no. Let's go here. Let's go C4 and just takes. It's getting boring seeing you always win. Well, that's the speed run. I win and then at some point in about 900 points from now, it'll get start getting harder. <laughs> uh, let's go A4. But that's why it's a speed run too, because I try to win as fast as I can. I'm going to go here and here. Thank you to Tufel Hunden for the 24 months. Thank you so much, Tufel Hunden. Let's target the juicer. Let's line it up. Thank you to Shadonman for the 11 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Shadonman. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. That's a free juicer. I will just take it. Thank you to E1D0LA for the four months. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go here. Line up the pawn. Just keep eating the pawns. <laughs> Let's take and go knight c4. Um... I'm just gonna play h4, h5. Um, let's go here, consolidate. I realized I was hanging that pawn. Let's go here, guard the bishop. Ronnie O'Sullivan or Mark Selby? Ronnie the Rocket, all, all the way. Ronnie forever. Let's go g4. Uh, this guy's playing pretty well, actually. I do have rook f7, I guess. Target the juicer. Poggy, you watch Snooker? Of course I watch Snooker. Why wouldn't I watch Snooker? Uh, actually, I was, at, I was at a chess tournament in London. There was a closing ceremony. Um, I think it was like two years ago. And what was his name? There was, a, there was actually a Snooker player there. Uh, who was it? What was his name? Um, oh, which one was it? Uh, it was it was the guy who was the best before Ronnie. Um, Steve Davis. Yes, it was Steve Davis. Yeah, Steve Davis. Exactly. <laughs> Steve Davis. Yeah. Let's go check. And it was really funny because I think there there was a there was basically a charity event where they did um auctioning off stuff. Um. Um, I think it was, wait, let me, let me, let me, let me check. Yeah, it was Steve Davis. It was Steve Davis for sure. Yeah. Let's go rook c6 here. Let's go check and rook a8. A a But yeah, so anyway, there was a there was an auction charity auction at this dinner. It was a bunch of chess players, and one of the one of the things was a like a two hour lesson with Steve Davis, and um and Sergey Karyakin. He decided to make he decided to bid on it, and I think for fun he made a bid, it was like there was a bid like one thousand, two thousand, and then Sergey decided to bid five thousand dollars, and he actually won he won the he won it uh, by bidding five thousand dollars. But I think at the end of the night, uh, because some of the some of the wealthier people there they were like. Okay, like uh, we'll we'll figure some way out. Someone else ended up like buying it off of him, so he didn't have to like pay the five thousand dollars for the um for the uh for the lesson. Let's go D four. Let's take and take. 
Why didn't I spend five grand on that? I think I bid on some other auction item. I think there was like Usain Bolt shoes or something. Thank you to FIFA's X for the four months as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's go A3. Um, Davis used to talk all the time about chess when he was at his when he was at his peak in the eighties. Uh, yeah, I know he's a fan of chess. I do know that. So uh, <laughs> let's just take and go B five here. Let's go B five and take. <laughs> Has chess become an esport? We're in the process, I think, of, of slowly moving more and more. Am I wearing a TS? I'm sure. I'm wearing this one. I'm wearing the black one, you guys. I'm wearing this one. Uh, you can buy that in the merch store, by the way, from TSM if you're interested. Um, let's go Rook B1. Bjergsen was wearing his actual jersey today when he was here. So that was kind of cool to see. Can I T6? What's the red box behind me? That, you guys, is uh, my personal safe. I store my my $50 million in gold bars in there. Just take and go D5 here. Let's just take the pawn. <laughs> What's the code? <laughs> yeah, let's go check and take. Good check. Can we buy a Hikaru jersey? You can get a custom jersey from the TSM store. Yeah, you can actually. Oh, right, I'm black. I gotta flip the board. Um, let's play E5. Let's go Knight C6. Now you're gonna get some lunatic in there demanding the gold bars in, in your. Um... Do you think your logo looks like the Inter Milan football logo? Yeah, it totally does. The TSM logo does. It looks like a mix of Inter Milan and um, and Juventus. So uh, it looks like a mix of those two. I watch soccer. Uh, not often, yeah. Um. <laughs> Oh wait, it's my oh, wait, it's my okay. Let's take and go here. Sorry, it's castle. My favorite thing he card does is probably intentionally mispronounce words to annoy people. <laughs> I mean, come on, you guys, you really thought that I didn't know that it's snooker? I mean, come on, seriously? Or you thought that it's Juventus? Juventus? I mean, of course I know it's Juventus, obviously. But anyway, uh, let's take. And go Bishop G4. My merch site doesn't work. Uh, I'm talking about the TSM. TSM website. I'm not talking about my own personal website. I'm saying at the TSM TSM website, you can actually order custom jerseys with a name on the back of them. Let's just take... Come on, you guys. I know it's snooker. Seriously? Just like it's nuclear, right? Or the Pyramid of Giza. And peasant is one of the best ones. So yeah, let's go bishop f5 here. Um, or a fillet minion, yeah. I feel like having a fillet minion for dinner tonight. Forza Juve, yeah. Forza Juve. Forza Juve, I should say. What is the point of speedrun? Uh, it's something that I think people enjoy. They enjoy the content. They enjoy seeing something different where it's upside down. Uh, so it's not like it's it's like specifically a world record, but it's something that I think provides content. I think in the future, people will probably try to do similar things. Let's just go here. No pawn pushes. And now I'm going to do the tri legendary triple again. Uh, let's go knight of knight f5 target the pawn do i take the chair and mic with you home every night no i don't uh this is not my setup but it's the exact same setup i have at my uh, my studio right now so that's also why i feel so comfortable here because it's literally the same microphone same camera well i guess the camera i do have to take home i'll take it home not tonight but tomorrow um so yeah i do have um I, the camera i brought here but like the keyboard is the same the microphone is the same the mouse is the same it's basically the exact same setup i have so that's that's why i actually really like streaming here because it just feels exactly like i'm at home 
Best player after Carlson in classical chess at the moment. It's um, it's it's definitely Fabiano Caruana. Um, in rapid and blitz, I think objectively it's probably me. Um, uh, on the whole, but there there are some other players I would say like Ali Rez is definitely improving quite a bit. Uh, maybe Ding has had some good results too. Um, but yeah, I would say that's just to be fair. Wesley, yeah, Wesley's had Wesley's had good had, had one good result in the um, in the St. Louis St. Louis Blitz. The U.S. Championship is a different field, so I don't think you can compare it. But I, I think I mean Wesley. We'll see. We'll see what he does. But he, he's he's had two great events in a row after some pretty bad events in um in in Magnus Tour. So who knows? Who knows? VD is also who is VD. Are you guys being? Are you guys trying to troll me with that? You're trying to troll me. Vladimir Dobrov, who's VD? Vladimir Dobrov. V- v- Vladimir 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 who? I don't know. Okay, let's go H three here. Oh, Vid it, Vid it. Okay, Vid it. Okay, Vid it. Okay, let's take and play Rook F three. I'm sorry, I don't. Vid it is Vid it. It's not VD. Or is it Vid it? Vid is supposed to be Vid it Gujarati. Okay. I thought it was V-Dit. I thought that's how you pronounce his name. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's flip the board. Let's go here. Dubov, yeah, but Dubov's not consistent. When Dubov's on fire, he's on fire, but he's not He's not anywhere near as consistent. Oh, they call him VD on his, on his YouTube channel? Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, thank you, you guys. Stop it. Seriously, I get it. What about Levon and Jan? I mean, in a given tournament, anybody's dangerous. But on, a- I'm saying on average. I'm not saying like, I'm not. I mean, a given day, anybody can beat anybody. <laughs> Jeez, come on, you guys. Igor Rousis has got to be up there too. <laughs> Igor Rousis. You mean Isa Kasimi? That's his actual name these days. Thank you, to Ian Thory, for the three months. Appreciate. It. Thank you. Actually, let's see how close I'm to eighty now. Um, well, let's just go here. I've won 92, so one more will be 80. Nepo is not consistent. When he's on, he's also incredibly dangerous. Thoughts on Duda? Um, Very talented, but very wildly inconsistent. Um, When he's playing well, he's amazing, but he's very inconsistent. Generally, I feel like I'm pretty consistent. Not always, but generally I'm pretty consistent. Yeah, I know that Arnold is a chess player. I think I actually I didn't tweet at him. Maybe I did, but I actually I tried to I tried to reach out. But he, I mean, he's very busy, obviously, in demand. Um, just go here. I'm actually misplaying this kind of. See, and this is where misplaying is a problem because now I'm like I'm looking at this position. I'm like, what's going on? One second. I think knight d4 is actually maybe winning for white. This is why I'm saying, like, right now it's very easy because the players aren't at that level. But, like, I was just winning and I make one wrong move and suddenly it's like you realize you've really messed it up. Arnold was getting heart surgery? Wait. No, you're thinking, you're talking about a Gadmator. You're not talking about Arnold, right? No, a Gadmator had heart surgery. Let's go here and trap the queen. Oh, Arnold did too? Oh, holy sh... Whoa, okay. I had no... Oh, I had no idea. Okay, wow. Yeah, I had no idea. Hmm. Yeah, I literally had no idea. Sorry, you guys. Okay, let's just take the juicer. I can play rook b8 next move. Just gonna go bishop f5, bishop d3 next move. Let's go here, maybe c3, c2, should be pretty good. Just gonna trade and go rook b1 next move. Uh, Actually, let's just do this. Let's go checkmate. Okay, let's go e4. Let's flip the board. Let's go knight f3. Go here. Let's just take. Let's castle. 
Or, no, actually, I can just take the pawn, I guess, and it's pretty good here. Just take the pawn, drop the knight back, castle the king. I think this is 80, right? We're at 80. Yeah, or are we at 80? What are we at? Yeah, this is 80. 80 up. Okay, let's take. Face is high def, thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. 81. I'm gonna try to get to I think I'm gonna get try to get to 85. Let's go d4, let's flip the board. Wait. Oh, oh wait, wait. No, wait, no, it's my Wait, what? No, I'm What? Oh wait, no, no, wait, no, no, wait. I'm white. I'm white, but uh, I'm white, but when I saw it at first, the pawn didn't go to d4. So like the pawn was on d2 and it went to d4, so I thought it was black. Okay, um, let's flip it. Okay, let's go here. Go here, maybe e6 next move. Probably 97. Yeah, I'm gonna update the score. Let's try to get to 85. Let's go here, 97. Um, yeah, you guys, let's let's not bullet. I told you before. I don't I don't consider the the ratings to be the same. I think Ali Ali Rez has gotten his rating off a of 30 second chest, which is great, but it's that's hyper bullet to me. And I've got off of one minute. I think the ratings are not comparable. I think they're just two different categories altogether. So props to Ali Reza for getting his rating as as high. Um, but I don't I don't think you can compare the ratings because they're based off of different formats. And I just wish chess.com would separate them because, I mean, because it's very clear they're just different. Okay, you, dude, if you're going to start with this, yes, I, I'm, I'm crying. I'm simply stating an opinion. You can t get banned. Okay, dude, you, you started this earlier, and now you can get banned. Goodbye. Let's play d4 and fork the bishop in the knight. It's going to castle. <laughs> crying, please. I just said they're two different categories. I'm, I'm so, I'm so upset. Like, please, give me a break. Let's just take and castle and play h6. I will play title Tuesday tomorrow. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Let's play h6, maybe bishop e6, maybe knight f5 next move. Go bishop b7, queen d7, rook d8. Will Magnus play title Tuesday? I mean, he could. He could. Um, uh, let's go here. Maybe bishop e6. Maybe knight e7. Next move. Go here. I guess I can go knight f4 maybe and queen d6 here. Um, let's go queen c7, I guess. Pieces, of, yeah, I, I'm not saying the pieces are great, you guys, but it is, it is what it is. Actually, I was going to update the score. I, I'm going to try to get to 85, which would be... Um, 98 wins on the account. Um, let's go. Let's just go for it. Take a 95. I think I take and go F5 and target the rook here. And now I line it up and now I'm doing really, really well. take and take the rook and it's just winning if i face eric tomorrow will i go easy on him why would i go easy on him it's a competitive event okay let's keep going all oh, right i'm black so let's play d5 knight of six let's go here let's go bishop f5 maybe e6 maybe knight d7 next move There's no way for viewers to see the board from a normal normal side unless I unless I flip it. Um, 
there's uh, there's just no way to do it easily as far as i can tell um but but maybe we'll see okay i can just play g5 here let's go g5 and just take queen d7 is fine too also you guys speaking of ali reza uh, he has a big match against big fish tomorrow why is he still awake he, sh he should be asleep actually like he was playing bull he was playing 30 second chess for like for like hours on end earlier and apparently he hasn't gone to bed which means he's probably going to lose if he's not careful to fedo save so i don't know why he's actually online because it's like 3 a.m in in um oh oh it's oh it's not tomorrow i was i was told it was tomorrow it's not tomorrow oh i was told it's tomorrow oh okay never mind then i was told it was tomorrow when does he play actually is it oh it's on one oh so it's on wednesday it's not tomorrow aha uh -huh, that's why okay no, in France, it's very late. It's 4.39 here, 7.39. It's like 2 a.m. Actually, it's only 2 a.m., but still pretty late, yeah. Okay, let's take him the triple stack. Um, just go here. Am I forced to use this set by TSM? No. Um, we, Chess Bay and I decided we'd use the set for this uh, for this speed run. We're not, I'm not forced to do anything. How much do I charge for coaching? I don't, um, I don't coach at the moment. He's in France. Um, he's in France right now. He's not in Iran. Or, yeah. I can rotate the image. Yeah, I've done upside down. I did upside down earlier. What are we at? How many games do we have? Let's see. We're trying to get to 98. We're at 95, so three more. Let's take the juicer. Maybe G4. I guess I just take, I can play queen g5, hit the knight. Just take the pawn. No, Ali Reza does not go to school. Um, I, I actually don't know what the schooling situation was like in Iran either. Um, but I don't think he's gone to school for quite some time. Could I show Ali Reza who's boss? Again, you guys, I think you're comparing, it's like comparing apples and oranges. Um, 30 second chess is completely different than one minute chess. So you're comparing apples to oranges. It's just not the same thing. Let's go knight f3, let's flip the board. Let's go here. Besides, I'm sure there will be a bullet championship at some point in the future anyway, of 1-0 bullet um, as well. Uh, let's go e3, bishop d3 and castles. Did I rematch? No, this is not a rematch, is it? No, I just, this is not a rematch. It's a different opponent. What's the point of 30 second chess, really? I completely agree. That's why I don't play 30 second. And that's also why I've said there should be a separate category. Because um, it's just completely different. Do I prefer 1-0 or 1-1? I mean, I prefer 1-0 because I'm better at it, but I actually like 1-1. I, and I think, I mean, you're going to, that's why I've said before, when the speech chess championship really gets going, you're going to see both Ali Reza and myself lose a lot of points because 1-1 is not the same as 1-0. It's a rematch? Oh. Oh, did I accidentally rematch? Oh. Oh, whatever. Okay. Okay, let's go queen c2. Magnus said he played badly today. I mean, I didn't think Magnus' play was great today. Um, I mean, was, he, he did play better than, than Parham, but, like, it was pretty shaky. Um, not sh shaky is the wrong word. It's just, it was good enough, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't super sharp. Uh, but, but the problem is Parham had no chance because he also, on top of, on top of getting, you know, struggling in some of the games, he also had an internet connection that, like, literally was, like, from the 1990s. So Parham kind of had, he, he was also fighting the internet at the same time. So it was just very, very much an uphill battle for Parham. Let's go here. Age has affected my speed. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would say I'm, I'm not as good at bullet as I used to be. No, no, he, I, I mean, I'm not saying Parham would complain, but I'm just saying that it, it was an added, added issue that he had to deal with. Say a lot about Magnus. Well, I mean, the problem is Magnus's baseline is higher than everybody else. So even if it's not his best, it's still usually better than anyone else. I mean, that's just, that's the unfortunate reality for everybody. Not named Magnus, of course. His baseline is always higher. I, 
I mean, that's just reality. I'm, I mean, like people are like, they're like getting mad at me for saying my honest, my, what I say, like they think I'm just being biased towards Ali Reza. Like I'm just always giving an honest opinion from a chess standpoint. No, what Magnus has is he's got some kind of psychological, he's got the psychological voodoo that nobody else has. His, his, his psych meta is extremely strong. That's what Magnus has that uh, almost nobody else has. Let's go e4. That's a terrible move, but it'll, it'll probably work. Okay, I'm just going to go f4 and f5 here. I mean, the psychological, like, he's just got the psychological grip. Like, people panic. They do things that they would never do against anybody else. People make mistakes against Magnus that they will never make against anybody else. Literally. Literally. I showed glimpses of my mojo. Yeah, I mean, no, I played I played great in the Magnus Tour. Um, I mean, I don't even really feel like I lost, frankly. But... But what I mean is not even so much the tour. I mean that very specifically when Mag when people play Magnus, you see blunders. I mean, I didn't do it. Lately, I stopped doing it, especially in the Magnus tour where I'd make those kinds of blunders. But you'll see that a lot of times when people get that like 0 0.6, 0 0.7 advantage against Magnus, they make some random mistake. They just, they panic. And of course, it's due to his dominance over the years, 100%. Um, but that that it's all part of the psychological thing. And yeah, Ali Reza losing that endgame to Magnus was just ridiculous. That should never happen in a million years either. Okay, I think this should be 85 once I win this game. Let me, let me double check though. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, let's go C4. Let's... Yeah, this will be this will be 85. So we'll keep going. I'm gonna play the. Uh... I'm gonna play 92 and Queen D2. Let's go knight h3, knight f2, queen d2. This is an opening that I really learned when I was young. Um, when I was like 13, 14, I started playing d4 against King's Indian. I loved playing the uh, same-ish defense. What about my endgame loss against Magnus over the board? Which one? I mean, I've lost plenty of endgames. I'm not claiming that I'm somehow <laughs> better than anybody else. It's happened to all of us. We've all, we've all had these endgames against Magnus. No, but the St. St. Louis one? Oh, the rook, the rook and pawn end games. Yeah, I mean that was pretty that was pretty bad. But that was already that wasn't like one which was an easy draw. That was very tricky. That was not a, I don't think that was ever an obvious draw. Because I was down a pawn, right? I was down a pawn in that endgame, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong, but um it wasn't an easy it was not easy. I'm saying like things that like you would expect someone to like 99% of the time not mess up. Yeah, the rook ending was five versus four. It was a draw with correct play, but it was not like, it wasn't like 100% draw. That's the thing. Um, let's just go rook d1. I'm gonna turn on the light one second, you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna turn on the light. It's getting a little bit dark, so I'm gonna turn it on. I think it's okay. Um, just go bishop e2, move the queen and castles. Okay, I can even just trade in castle. Daylight saving times, yeah. I, oh, I had bishop c5, which I missed. If I go knight a4. Just take, I just take. Um, let's just go e5, knight e4, knight g4. Okay, I'm gonna go knight e4, maybe knight f6 at some point. Go king f2 and king e2, I guess. Just take. Let's go check. Maybe bishop f1 next move.
Let's go uh, G3, kick the knight. I'll take and play F4 next move. Let's go here and F4. Maybe I had some... Checkmate. That is just checkmate. 